Mark Webber. It's Michael Webber. Just as talented. We'll start from P7. Jason Burns from P8. And Darren Brumpton and Renee Lego round out your starters in the National Falls feature race. And we're after it now. For the little four bangers. And Tim Weir leads us into one and two that time. Short's a little bit out of shape as Little Hales makes his way through into position number two. Hancock all over the back of Schultz and Schultz might have a problem with the left rear. It's all skew here from the back of the Caboolture number 43. And I dare say he's down a shot. As Little Hales is out of shape now and Schultz three wheel on it around like a dog on Lino. Moves into position number two. Weir has checked out. But the battle for the miners might be exceptional. Because Schultz at the moment has got a handful. Hancock goes upstairs. Turner on the inside. Cook's right there with him. Little House. After a great start, Mark Little House has fallen back to sixth. Jason Burns, Michael Weber, Brumpton round out your lead lap runners as Renee Lego goes a lap down on her debut night. We're doing it all in fine style at the front of the moment. Schultz has got an absolute handful. The left rear doing absolutely nothing in the number 43. Hancock and Turner side by side for third and fourth. As Hancock goes upstairs now, starts to wind at the Lancer. Schultz still ahead of shape. Turner now into third. Hancock drifts back as Dion Cook moves through. And Tim Weir has more than half a lap on the field at the moment. At this rate, he might lap the field before we're done. As we comes in the shop, doing a magic job tonight, the Sierra. We'll follow him for a lap, because we is running around comfortably. Hooked up on the bars, and the little fire-breathing Sierra is putting on a show. As he starts to range up onto the back of the top five, there's only four cars he hasn't lapped yet. So Weir leads, there's a battle for second and third through three and four now. As Cook has caught Schultz and Schultz is sideways. Schultz still somehow hanging on to second. Dion Cook third, Hayden Turner fourth, Brock Hancock fifth as Little House is up in the fence, keep it going. And the Escort's out of noise. And may well put pay to Tim Weir's efforts to lap the field the Sierra doing a ripper job out front as you see Mark Littlehouse in the escort against the concrete there in turn three in front of the bar so we leads Dion Cook in second Hayden Turner third Brock Hancock fourth Jason Burns up to fifth, Michael Weber sixth, Darren Prompton seventh, and Renee Lego, the last of your runners at the moment. Green flag at the ready for Weir to fire back into life. The fire breathing Sierra gets us back underway here in the National Force feature, and Dion Cook goes nowhere. Cook has all sorts of dramas in the 16 car. And might get dispatched by Brumpton onto the infield. So Turner sits second. Hancock sits third. Jason Burns up to fourth after a bit of a quiet night. And the number seven, Weber. Fifth and Brumpton sixth. And Weber and Brumpton have had their own battles tonight. And we'll watch the Sierra go to work here as they all spread out around the racetrack. It's a magic race car. 
And the Queensland champion certainly knows how to wheel it like no other, Tim Weir. Left front wheel in the air. Just skates his way around the top side of King Roy Speedway. And putting on a show. Turner sits second. And he's probably a third of a lap behind at the moment. Hancock third. And the laps wind down. As Weir has gone past Brumpton and Weber. Brumpton and Weber still side by side having their own battle. And he's about to go past Jason Burns as well. Three, three and four who come down the main straightaway and see the doctor's jacket. White flag is out for the Queensland champion, Tim Weir. And he continues to do his thing. He's got more than half a lap over Hayden Turner at the moment. And the Sierra comes down the main straightaway and takes out the feature race win in the National Fours at the season opener at King Roy Speedway. Turner home in second, Brock Hancock home in third. And they are the only cars left on the lead lap. The dominant performance. But take nothing away from him. He certainly knows how to pedal around a race car. He's the current Queensland National Falls champion. Plenty of noise for Tim Weir and the fire-breathing Sierra. As you get a full-on pyrotechnics show, rolls past the pit gate, check it, flag in hand for his lap of honour. And another great night in the office for Tim Weir. How can you not look at that thing, Paul, and get pumped up? It is a weapon. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, as we said earlier in the night, it was uh, put together on the kitchen table during the week. We'll have a quick word uh, with Tim as the modified scroll out to complete what has been a fabulous race meeting to start the season here at Ian Botcher Race Parts, Kingaroy Speedway. Great to see the people that have uh, stayed here because this is going to be one almighty race. We're going to have a very quick word with Tim. He'll be very happy with the brand new car. Tim, congratulations. Another one to add. Oh, we can't get it through the window. Another one to add to the collection. I know there's a whole lot of people you've got to thank and surely uh, for getting this car here. Yeah, massive thanks has to go to my brother Justin. He's done a whole heap of work on this car tonight and this week. So, yeah, big thanks to him, the dad, the girlfriend. They're going to help us out a lot. There you go. Good on you, Tim.